Hello and welcome to today's episode where we'll be talking about feline immunodeficiency virus or FIV, a disease that affects cats worldwide. FIV is a lentivirus that is closely related to human immunodeficiency virus or HIV and causes a similar disease in cats. The virus attacks a cat's immune system, making it more susceptible to other infections and diseases. The virus is primarily spread through bite wounds and outdoor cats, those that fight, or those that roam are at higher risk of contracting the virus. Indoor cats have a much lower risk of contracting FIV, but it is still possible for them to be infected if they are bitten by an infected cat. Symptoms of FIV can vary greatly and may not even appear for several years after infection. Some cats may show no symptoms, while others may develop a persistent fever, weight loss, and anemia. Additionally, FIV-infected cats are more prone to developing secondary infections, such as skin infections, eye infections, and respiratory infections. If you suspect your cat may have been exposed to FIV, it is important to have them tested. Diagnosis of FIV is typically done through a blood test that detects the presence of FIV antibodies. If your cat tests positive for FIV, it is important to keep in mind that it may not be necessarily show any symptoms right away and may still live a normal life for many years. Currently, there is no cure for FIV, but with proper care and management, FIV-infected cats can still lead happy, healthy lives. This includes providing them with a nutritious diet, keeping them up to date with vaccinations, and providing prompt medical treatment for any secondary infections that may arise. It's also important to keep in mind that FIV-positive cats can live happily with FIV-negative cats, as long as they are not aggressive towards each other. If you have multiple cats, it is a good idea to have them all tested for FIV so that you can take appropriate precautions and ensure the health and well-being of all your feline friends. In addition to providing pro appropriate care for FIV-infected cats, there are also steps that can be taken to prevent the spread of the virus. One of the most effective ways to prevent FIV transmission is to spay or neuter your cat, as unneutered males are more likely to fight and therefore more likely to contract the virus. Keeping your cats indoors is also a good way to minimize the risk of exposure to other cats that may be infected with FIV. In conclusion, FIV is a serious disease that affects cats, but with proper care and management, infected cats can still lead happy and healthy lives. If you have any concerns about your cat's health or potential exposure to FIV, be sure to speak with your veterinarian. Remember to take appropriate precautions to prevent the spread of the virus and to provide your cat with the best possible care and quality of life. If you liked the video, please give it a like, share, subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell. Please follow me also on Facebook and Instagram. That would help me a lot. Thank you very much and see you next time.